Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I am excited to do another episode of Promo Monday. Today we are covering negation specifically for the personal pronoun prefixes. Uh, we are working, we're going to work with all the tenses so that you know how to negate things in all the different times. So I hope you find it useful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Happy Monday, members of the Ellison family. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I am very excited today to be doing another episode of Grammar Monday. So today we're going to be talking about negation. What is negation? It's really when you need to say the opposite, not the opposite, you want to say the negative form of a sentence. I have an example here. I am eating. The negation for that will be I am not eating. I will eat. I will not eat. I ate. I did not eat. Eat. So in today's um, video, what we're going to do, we're going to just work with the personal pronoun uh, prefixes and then we're going to work with all the three tenses to show how you can negate sentences that um, come in those tenses. So I hope you find this useful. I will get on with it. Okay, so here we have the first part of the verb stem, Nina. If you remember our story uh, or our formula for finding or for writing our Swahili verb, it's usually stove. But just for now, I am working with ST because this is really what changes when you're negating a sentence. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the present affirmative. That is how you would normally just say a sentence. So, Nina, Anna, Una, Tuta, Water. So, you can really put any verb you want to work with here. So, let's choose a simple verb like Soma. Okay, Nina Soma, I am ready. Anna Soma, Una Soma, Tuta Soma, Water Soma. Um, I don't know if you remember, what are this? So these are really the subject prefixes. Ni is for I, I am reading. A is for he or she. U is for you. Tu is for us. Wa is for they. Sorry, I'd forgotten the m mm, for y'all. So, and also we want to maintain the tenses um, uniform so that we can work from each chart. Okay, so here we have they are reading and y'all are reading. Okay, so let us see how we would negate this particular sentence. So to negate, you simply change the N, I, to, let me work from here. So you change the N, I, to C. And then uh, change the A to I at the end. So only in the present tense do you need to add I at the end. So it would be something like see, so, me. Just like that. How about for he or she is not reading? You simply add the ha and then change the end to I. So that becomes ha so me. All right, and then for you are reading simply becomes who saw me. So you might have noticed we're just adding H, H to the negation and then changing the last vowel into I. Ha to saw me. Okay. Ha wa saw me. And ha m saw me. So negating the present tense is really simple. Again, for the uh, for the first person, ni, you simply change it to si, and then for the rest of them, add ha. Ha so me, and then hu so me, and then ha to so me, ha wa so me, and then ham so me. Is that clear? Okay, let us try it with another verb to see if it changes or it remains the same, just for clarity. So I have chosen to use the word pick, the verb pika. So nina pika, ana pika, una pika, tuna pika, wana pika, mna pika. So I just simply change the stem and pick, hap sipiki, hapiki, hupiki, hatsupiki, hawapiki, hampiki. Quite straightforward, right? 
Okay, now let us move to the future tense and we'll just use the same verb. Um, Nina, no, okay, we can change something. Let's see what verb would be appropriate. Nina Cheza. Ana Cheza. Una. Just again showing you how you create these verbs. Tuna. Cheza. Uh, cheza. Um, wana. Cheza. And una. Cheza. Cheza simply means play. So you can say what to wana cheza, etc. etc. But for now, for negation purposes. So, oh. Nita cheza. I don't know why I use the same verb. Sorry about that. Tuta. Future tense is represented by ta. Please ignore what I just said. Okay, so to negate that, what do we do? We come back here to a little workbench. And Nita cheza becomes Sita cheza. So what has simply happened is I have changed the ni to si. Really, the future negation is one of the simplest ones. Uh, atacheza just changes to ha tacheza. So everything remains the same except the first one, the first prefix. So si tacheza, ha tacheza. Huta cheza. And then for the plural, it's a bit different. What we'll simply do, we'll say ha, then affix it in front of the two. Ha tuta cheza. So you see, in the present tense, where we would say ha to picky and change this i, in the future negation, we don't do that. We simply put the ha and then Tuta cheza. Okay. Ha wa ta cheza. Ham ta cheza. Okay. Is that clear up to that point? All right. Let us work on the past affirmative. What verb can we use? Leah, cry. So, ni, li, Leah. Oh, okay, that's a bit complicated looking. Uh, how about we just use soma? Nili soma. Um, then a uh, li soma. This means he or she read. U li soma. You read. Tu li soma. We read. Wa li soma. They read. And then we finally have your red. Mta mm li soma. How do we negate this? Let's come back here. If this thing will just cooperate. Okay, so nili becomes siku. All right, and then ali becomes haku. Uli becomes huku. Tuli becomes hatuku. And then wali becomes hawaku. So you simply just attach the verb at the end of it. Amli hamku. Okay, so how would that look? Nilisoma, sikusoma. Just attach the verbs. And then, alisoma, hakusoma. Ulisoma, hukusoma. You did not read. And then, tulisoma, hatukusoma. We did not read. And then, walis, uh, hawakusoma, hamukusoma. So, here's the key. Once you memorize or you just, I prefer you learn them so that you don't have to memorize it. It'll become so much easier for you. So what you simply do once you, you remember the beginnings of the negated verb, you simply affix 
um, or attach the verb that you're working with and you have your negation. So I'm going to leave the, the verbs in there as they are so that all you need to do is replace what verb you're working with, okay? So all you need to do is take that out, uh, this, and then replace it with something else. Uh, we could do that, you know, um, or we could do that and so forth, okay? So once again, memorize the beginnings of the negated verb and you should be good to go. Uh, I'd like to mention that the negation for each uh, noun class is going to be a little different, but that's something that we will cover in a different video. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will talk to you again soon.